Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA is just surprising us everywhere right now in this game, and especially yesterday, they surprised us with this loading screen right here telling us that Prime Icons are dropping today on a Thursday. It's not even like a promo Friday where they like to focus on packs and trying to get people to open packs. They're dropping today on a Thursday. So I want to take a look through everything related to Prime Icons dropping in the game. We've got crazy market movements and panic selling on Icons and just the meta market in general. Mbappe is 760,000 coins after he was 900k yesterday. Why is all this panic selling happening? I want to take a look through that. And also, today is the start of a brand new season on FIFA 23 with the World Cup season ending, the Rivals rewards, season rewards resetting. And some of you guys watching this video, if you're early, may not even be able to log into the game because EA is doing maintenance once again. Every time they do maintenance, they mess something up. So hopefully this time... There's nothing that they make a mistake of, and it's just very poor timing for maintenance, but I guess EA have a reason for why they do it when they do. But we'll talk about all that and more in today's video. Of course, we've got more Winter Wildcard stuff to talk about, leaked Icon SBCs. It's all going crazy in this game right now, and so is the market. So there's a lot to talk about. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive in to the Icon Madness and just the straight up surprise that this loading screen was yesterday. I mean, it's not a, that big of a surprise, but I guess none of us were really thinking about Prime Icons since we just had all of these World Cup Icons dropped into FIFA in the past couple of weeks. I guess we knew that Prime Icons usually drop in December, but I don't think I was expecting it after those World Cup ones dropped when they did. But alas, here we are. Prime Icons are coming at packs today. Now, what does this mean? Usually, when the Prime Icons come into packs, they replace the base version. So, like, on the loading screen here, we have Pele, we have Zidane, and we have Maldini. Most likely, base Pele, Zidane, and Maldini, and all the other cards that are in packs today as Prime Icons, their mid versions will still be in packs, and their Prime versions will be replacing the baby or the base version, right? That's how EA has done it in the past. We'll hopefully get some information today about if that's the case. They haven't told us too much about that this year, but that's what we usually see when prime icons are dropped on this game. Now, how many icons are going to be dropped? That's another question. Last year, and what we've even seen this year so far with the World Cup icons, is they like to drop these in batches. Since it's a two-week promo with Winter Wild Cards, it just makes sense, right? They might drop one batch of cards this week with Winter Wild cards one and then maybe next thursday or friday they will drop batch two this is the batch one that they dropped last year of course they had pele zidane and maldini in that same batch as well but you see in this list like they're missing some cards ronaldinho hullet uh, Cruyff, some of the names that are not in this list on this loading screen from last year um, in FIFA 22. I would expect kind of the same thing today. Like, not all of the prime icons will be out today. Probably just batch number one, especially since this is a two-week promo. Now, talking about prime icons, what even are these cards? Well, there's nothing really new to surprise us here with, right? All of the prime icons are the same from the last years on FIFA, except for the brand new ones like Muller, um, Jarzinho, a couple of the other new icons that we have this year. We haven't seen their prime versions on the game yet, so that'll be very interesting to see what the stats look like. I mean, EA have revealed the stats, of course, earlier on in the year for some of these cards, but there will be some extra hype, um, especially for like Jarzinho and Muller, because that was the first time that those cards will be released on the game. And of course, since... Uh, these prime cards are dropping on the game today. People have taken to the market and have started panic selling other versions of these cards as they anticipate the new ones coming out. Uh, mid R9, 5.7 million coins. He was like 6 million coins just a couple days ago. Even yesterday before the news broke, you can see a, a big time drop off here, right? Panic selling started to happen on most of these icons as people saw the loading screen and they saw the leaks of these cards getting released. I think like mid hullet was another one I heard that was down big time. I don't track his price that much. 3.7 million coins uh, yesterday and right now look at this drop off. Yeah, he was down to 3.4. He's currently 3.4 million coins. So a lot of panic selling on icons across the board, including your World Cup icons. And I want to shout these out uh, also because I'm losing coins on this Roberto Carlos right now. He was 1.1 million coins yesterday and now he's 900k. But why I want to shout these cards out is 
Yes, they might be a little bit lower statistically than the prime cards in statistics, right? I mean, you look at Eto. Eto's prime has got plus two pace, plus one shooting, dribbling, and plus one physical on the World Cup item. It does not have a dynamic image, and it also does not have the upgraded weak foot, right? This uh, Eto, the prime, has a four-star weak foot, four-star skills. This moments or World Cup Eto has the five-star weak foot. So that's one thing to keep in mind with these World Cup icons is some of the World Cup icons have either an added skill move uh, boost or an added weak foot boost that might make them a little bit more valuable than their prime cards even especially with the dynamic image so take that into consideration today with these primes dropping and if you own any of those world cup cards right there still might be some panic on guys like figo um, the World Cup version, but I still think this is going to be the best version of Figo that is in the game, even after the Prime drops today, just because of the five-star skills that this card has, right? Now, I want to talk Prime Icons just a little bit more. How are these guys going to come onto the market today? Well, it, they're going to be unlike the World Cup heroes. I mean, like you, got, you saw these World Cup uh, icons I keep saying heroes these World Cup icons when they were dropped onto the market They almost had a similar weight to like promo cards I mean they were even packable from 84 times 20s and upgrade packs these regular icons I think they're just gonna end up being more rare I don't think that you're gonna see uh, a lot of you know the Cruyff or you know Let's say like the Pele's on the loading screen. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of supply on an icon like this today I know the market's cheaper this year and stuff like that But whenever they drop new releases of pure icons onto the game not like promo related icons like the World Cup ones those cards are probably going to end up being pretty rare just because especially today not many people are going to be opening packs um, because think about it so many people are even just saving packs for the winter wild cards promo so I, I expect these icons to be pretty um, pretty rare on the market today except for the lower tier ones and EA might even run lightning rounds today to try to supply those cards on the market a little bit more and try to get people to open packs but I do really feel like oh they're running lightning rounds right now nice on tradable ones but albeit lightning rounds uh, I, I would maybe expect to see lightning rounds again today just because EA will try to get some sales around the hype of the prime icons knowing that they can maybe sell some packs so that's kind of what I would expect today with the prime icons is uh, they're going to drop on the game you're going to see them on the market and probably going to be pretty rare it will mean great fluctuations to trade with right I just talked about this Roberto Carlos I just picked one up on vid for like 855,000 coins and now there's a couple up right now at 920s but I mean this guy was 1.1 mil yesterday it's a dynamic image and these world cup icons specifically are going to be great to trade with because they have a dynamic images and a they have a close stat range to the primes and they have the image so that's kind of what i like about those now let's enough talk about icons let's talk about this crazy market and what we have going on right now because player prices are going every single which way on this game and i think it's for a multiple number of reasons now the first one is like we said we've got prime icons coming today and that was a bit of a surprise but are just prime icons coming into packs and making this mbappe drop down over a hundred thousand coins in one day i don't think so right 900k to start the day yesterday and he's literally just been dropping all day some cards i think are getting really low just because it's the start of a new season we've got winter wild cards we've got pretty solid leaks for a icon player SBC. Jarzinho and Maldini are both leaked. This caused some panic yesterday. A lot of people would love to craft this Jarzinho card as an SBC just because it's a brand new icon, really good statistically in the game, and that would just be a card that a lot of people want to craft. So in the combination of those leaks with the icons coming out today, and uh, just with the Winter Wild Cards promo again on deck, like the Winter Wild Cards is such a hyped up promo and so many people are excited for what this promo could be. And again, you just think in general of what's been happening this week on this game, right? We had a 75,000 store pack, 75,000 coin store pack to drain coins off the market. We've had an expensive Ronaldo SBC. We have had an 88 plus mid or World Cup icon upgrade pack. We have had the Di Maria SBC. So many people have changed their teams because of that. There's been a lot of panic slime because of that SBC it just feels like a lot of people have lost coins in this game in the past week or so with all the content that has been out in the store in SBCs etc and I think that has just taken a lot of coins off the market and now people are fearing this upcoming promo and everything a part of it and they're just going out and they're selling cards but it does seem to be centralized to more of the top tier part of the market Alloway Run uh, and his uh, World Cup hero card was like 600k yesterday right now. He's 550 like look at the drop on this card one of the most meta Attackers in the game it, guys. It just kind of feels again like 
people don't want to buy cards right now on this market. And that to me means that I don't want to be buying cards either. If people are scared to buy and they're not buying, then I want to wait until that switch flips. And probably that's going to happen tomorrow on Friday and until we see some stuff start to move again. So it might be one of those Thursdays where the market is just kind of low and it stays low, especially on these like team of the tournament cards. I mean, guys, like we, we look at Phil Foden. Here's one just card that's coming to mind right now. Phil Foden's team of the tournament card was uh, 290,000 coins yesterday. And I believe right now Phil Foden is like under two, 250, right? He's in the 240s right now. He just keeps going lower. And it's because I think people are panicking in general and nobody is wanting to buy that much on this market right now. And just like we saw last week, remember last week with the World Cup Phenoms, there was a lot of leaks for the upcoming team and tournament promo and these Phenoms cards got really low on Thursday. I think that might happen today with the team of the tournament cards as well. So just be very careful buying cards today. I, I think, you know, would you sell if you have cards still? It's not really a great time to sell either because if not many people are buying, you know, it's just gonna keep pushing card prices lower and lower and lower and it's going to make cards go even cheaper if people are not wanting to buy that much. Now, you still could see some swings in price today. I'm not saying that you're not going to be able to make any coins on the market today. There's still a lot of hype around Di Maria, and people today might be getting their season rewards. They might be getting their rivals rewards, wanting to go out and complete some SBC. So maybe some of these Argentina lads uh, that have got the hype right now, of course, Lissandro Martinez is still 170,000 coins, right? He's not moving on the market. This is the stuff that is hyped. The Argentina links and the Serie A links are still doing very, very good in this market on this game. And I think those are the places today that you would maybe see the market move in a positive direction, um, if anything. So that's what I would say for the market today is keep an eye out on those sorts of links because that stuff is kind of what always moves. Especially that's because what is the most hype right now. Now, also EA yesterday finalized their dynamic image upgrades for all of the, or at least most of the Argentinian players, not all of them, but Messi got this absolutely stunning uh, updated dynamic image of him with the World Cup trophy. So I think they've upgraded all the cards now. I wish they were going to give upgrades to like Montiel um, and some of these other cards like um, the Showdown, Correa. I think people really wanted a dynamic image upgrade for it, but it looks like it may not happen because EA retweeted a tweet yesterday uh, that showed all the upgrades. Boom, there it is right there. Uh, this is a, a picture in the game. You know, it, may, it makes this seem like they've finished all the upgrades that they're going to do. So really a big W for EA for putting these dynamics in. But I wish they could have done like all the Argentine cards that are a part of the World Cup promos, not just the select few. But that's neither here nor there. So uh, guys, today on Thursday as well, new swap token, right? We, we're getting a swap token just about every single day. Let's talk about what other content we could see today as well. Of course, Thursdays, we got marquee matchups, right? I believe that we are going to have marquee matchups, not the World Cup marquee matchups anymore, of course, since that is over and done. Today's marquee matchups should feature some of the Boxing Day games and games that we have in the upcoming days since club football is coming back. So keep an eye on this section for some of the maybe big matchups that are happening happening in the next week um, in the world of football as clubs come back and as players return from the World Cup and as the leagues get started and going once again. This is where I think the Winter Wildcard swap token will be today inside of World Cup marquee matchups. Now, the other place that we had a swap token yesterday was in uh, kind of the place that we expected it to be, Silver Stars. Now, I've already completed this one um, since it dropped yesterday. There was a Silver Stars, um, Anthony Robinson from the USA. You have to complete the entire Silver Stars group, win three games, score eight, and assist six goals in the Silver Lounge game mode with a full silver team to get the swaps token from yesterday. So that is token number four. Today should be token number five via SBC marquee matchups, I believe is where they would put it today. We'll just have to see. Now, other content that we could have today, of course, with that uh, supply coming onto the market with potential lightning rounds, if they're tradable, who knows? Um, but uh, specifically the marquee matchups packs, we're looking for these team and tournament cards to drop off in price. As we mentioned a little bit earlier, there should be supply on the market today, a little bit at least, and that might make these cards go a little bit lower, especially if people are not buying that much. 
And what else we could see today is maybe the release of that uh, SBC, right? The Jarzinho and the Maldini. Jarzinho's cards, Maldini's cards are all down a lot in price. I was kind of watching and hoping that these cards would bounce back a bit. It looks like Jarzinho has finally bounced back a little, but he was like 1.25 at his absolute lowest here in the late night time frame. He's only back up about 50K. Again, it just kind of goes along with how people feel or how the market feels right now. It just feels like not a lot of people want to buy cards in this game. So you just have to be very, very careful with trading. And that's why not a lot of cards are, are bouncing that much. Now that could change a little bit today. Like again, we said after the season rewards, after the milestone rewards, there could be some people that go out and buy some teams, but I'm not expecting a huge market rebound today. Um, because just with the anticipation of the next promo and everything happening on the game right now, I don't think it'd be that big. Also, speaking of marketing content today, uh, if we do get those icon SBCs, you could see SBC fodder moving a little bit i mean you've got the low tier fodder right now 83s are 1.4k they were 1.7 earlier 84s are 4,000 coins they are up big but your high rated fodder 88s 89s 90s 91s if a jarzinho or a maldini were to drop today i think there is potential for especially if jarzinho drops today i do believe your high rated fodder could have a quick bump up in value if so if you're gonna invest in fodder you need one of these icon spcs or both of them to drop today. And I'm not saying that's guaranteed or anything, I'm just saying you need that to happen if high rated fodder is going to go up. So if that's a gamble you're willing to take, maybe look to the fodder uh, market. If you have 84s or 83s, I would be looking to sell those today after rewards because you might see a bit of a bump on those cards as people get the rewards, go out and do some other SBCs on the market. Now, speaking of SBCs people might be doing, yesterday we had the goalkeeper showdown, Nick Pope versus Danny Ward. A lot of people are doing this Nick Pope card. If you take a look at goalkeepers across the game, some of goalkeepers are the highest percentage dropping cards on this entire market, like Dudek, the hero card. Um, even some of your icon goalkeepers have just like absolutely been destroyed in price because so many people are selling these to go and use Nick Pope. Uh, I think most people are doing the Nick Pope SBC. So especially with the Trippier card that is available versus uh, Winter Wild cards swaps, I think a lot of people are getting that done. And that's why you're seeing goalkeepers drop. So that game is not for a couple of days. But that showdown yesterday made 83s go up a little bit more and it made goalkeepers drop a lot on this game. So keep an eye on the fodder market today. Things could be very interesting there. Now, one of the last things we have to talk about is the season resetting today. Now, you, we talk about milestone rewards, right? People get scared about milestone rewards because they think that it impacts the market a lot. Milestone rewards are not tradable. These packs have never been, and I'm pretty sure they will never be, tradable. It's always untradable packs that are hitting the market. Now, you can take, obviously, you have the option in Rivals Rewards to take tradable in Rivals, but the milestones are always untradable. Um, and today, people are just going to be getting a lot of fodder and maybe able to pack a couple team and tournament cards from whatever um, you know reward level they are completing. I really don't think that's going to kill the market. I mean, I also don't think that that is the number one place of why the panic selling is taking place right now. I think it's a combination of things and people are just people are just scared, right? And they know that people are not buying that much right now. So it's just making prices go lower. It looks like Mbappe may have hit a low point at about 760. Looks like he's maybe bouncing back up a little bit right now. Same thing with like Ginola. Ginola was like 1.07 or something like that around 1.1. It looks like Ginola is maybe going to bounce back up a little bit too. That's how panic selling goes, right? You have ebbs and flows. That's why I tried to time the low here with Roberto Carlos. Got him at 855 on bid. Looks like he's not even selling at 925 now, which would be profit for me if I was able to sell here. But I need that card to go up a little bit more because he's down so much. I think he can go a little bit higher. So, you know, it's just the market right now is just in a very, very interesting place. And the rewards today might help fodder move a bit, might help some of the market move a bit. Uh, but one thing that EA is doing today, and again, this is just, it's really annoying. And I mean, I want to explain the new season here for a second, but... This is this is the most annoying part for it for me. They schedule maintenance. I believe this is three hours before rewards are paid out. And this is the end of the season, guys. Like, people are probably trying to grind their games. Like myself, I was trying to play a couple more games to get the next level of season rewards and if, get a reward upgrade from Rivals. But I'm going to run out of time because this maintenance, match creation is going to be disabled when I'm recording this video in 30 minutes from now. So, RIP to that opportunity. And again, we talk about this all the time. Last time they did maintenance, 
Well, every time they do maintenance, they mess something up. Something gets messed up on the game every single time. Last time they did maintenance, they messed up the search here in the transfer market section. Like when you go in and you search for somebody on the market, right? Let's search for like this Pele and then you back out, right? It clears your search. That happened the last time they did maintenance during rewards, right? So hopefully they fix that today. I'm sure they're doing a whole bunch of other stuff or whatever, but uh, I'm not looking forward to today on FIFA in terms of the menus and to see what they messed up because there's probably going to be something that they messed up. But with this new season, I did want to give you guys a couple updates. With this new season, there will no longer be those annoying player picks for the World Cup limited time cards. Those are not going to be in packs anymore after this season restart, right? A lot of the World Cup stuff is going to be ending. If you have saved packs, though, that have those World Cup cards in them or those World Cup player picks, those will still be there. You'll still be able to open them. If you're saving packs for Team of the Year and you have packs that contain World Cup players in them, during Team of the Year, after all of those World Cup players have expired, you will still be able to open that pack. That pack will not disappear. Just when you pick the World Cup players out of that pack, when you send them to their club, they will disappear and they will not be in your club. So don't be worried if you're saving packs. That message that popped up in game a couple days ago, uh, talking about that stuff, there's really nothing to worry about. Um, and basically just make sure and see how what your level is. Like I'm almost to level 10. I'm going to have to go and grind through that 75 plus upgrade pack that gives out those World Cup players to get the last like 60 or 70 of those World Cup cards that I need. You just turn in three bronzes and it's an easy W. So I'm going to do that so I can get all <clears throat> of the level 1 through 10 rewards from that collection but today in season progress everything's going to reset hopefully they continue with the good packs a 100k pack in here last time a rare mega pack they dropped some cool stuff in the world cup season two uh this last season hopefully with season three today they dropped some nice level 15 and level 30 players and some nice packs in there as well but just again i'm honestly just asking the question like what is ea gonna mess up this time hopefully they don't mess anything up super duper massive. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna list this Roberto Carlos overnight. Hopefully we can get a sale or two uh, with maintenance coming. You never know. The, ma the maintenance on the market is always very interesting. Some people can get on the market, some people can't. It's going to be a very interesting Thursday on FIFA 23 today with Prime Icons coming, Winter Wild Cards being one day closer. Watch out for the leaks on the Winter Wild Cards as well. Uh, that could be something that moves the market a bit today. It's going to be an all over the place day today on FIFA. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. But if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate's Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace.